Traveling for me and the discovery that travel brings is, I would say, one of my greatest inspirations when it comes to creativity. To see something new, to try something new, and then for me to figure out how I'm going to be able to use that and bring that one little piece into a dish that we're doing or into a moment, a restaurant from a service perspective. So very important times. To me, California is a gateway to Asia. It's the first jumping off point before you fly out uh, or, or what the pilots use as a term called coasting out. And it's beautiful because you coast out over the ocean heading over to Japan or Hong Kong. And the moment you coast out, you know you're going someplace great. Japan to me was uh, was a moment. The first time that I got off the plane there, and the, the aroma, the smells from the city that hits your nose, you'll never forget it. I felt like I just came home. Pinocchio and the Bird came about from an idea. It, it was truly a restaurant born of my travels and I wanted to deliver this culmination of years that I've, that I've been traveling throughout Asia and, and the idea was to deliver like a story these snapshots from the travels that I've had and the guests it's almost like they're able to experience travel just by sitting here with us we're able to take them on a journey and give them incredible memories I really wanted to create something that resonated with how I feel, how I want to live, the type of feeling that I want my guests to have when they come in, which is very lived in and warm. And it's meant to be done in such a way where what you see is maybe not the beauty of a polished copper pot, but what you see is the beauty of a patinaed uh, copper pot. Noki is this, this beautiful Japanese cypress tree, and this tree has an amazing aroma to it. It's very clean, very pure, very soft. And when you, when you have that scent of the hinoki, it walks through the dining room, and it just feels incredible. Hinoki was meant to represent Japan, the bird was meant to represent the travel and the combination of the two, but the bird is always going to come back home to its Hinoki tree. One of my favorite designers in Japan, uh, Higashiya, that crafted a number of our bowls and our cups, and just to even work with these to plate is an amazing experience on itself. It's a beautiful moment to be able to do that. In Kyoto, Japan, one of their highest art forms of, of cooking is kaiseki cuisine. It's driven by seasons and, and driven by ingredients that are running literally maybe just for a week. What we like to do here at Hinoki and the Bird is to craft a dish that has that simple, pure, really organic nature in its plating. And to me, it resembles kaiseki from the standpoint of how we let the nature be a part of the dish. we have a section called inspiration and that was meant to be just a section where it was completely born from travel it was completely born from new tastes and new flavors and so I wanted to bring that and create a section that would really be a postcard of our travels when that door shuts and you walk into the restaurant we wanted to transport you